Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a guest. What's your name? I'm Jojo. Jojo. So Jojo is my little three-year-old guest who's about to turn four. It's going to be your birthday soon. Is it going to be your birthday? Yeah. Yep, it's about to turn four next Sunday. Yes, yeah, the Sunday after next. I just wanted to record today's video. Cheek, I wanted to cheek, do... Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky yep. Yeah. I wanted to do a story time on basically the time I was robbed <laughs> in pound stretchers, imagine, in um, Stratford. So Stratford is in East London for anyone that doesn't know. I feel so uncomfortable going there because obviously because of what happened. Let's, let's just get into it. Okay. I'm not sure what was going on with the lighting and stuff, but yeah, I just dropped Jojo, my youngest, off to nursery. And um, I had about a few hours to spare, so obviously I wanted to go and do like some shopping or whatever. So I went to Stratford and I remember I parked my car and I thought, okay, let me go and get some stuff. I'm not sure what brought me to Pound Stretchers, but I was probably just like browsing the shops and stuff to get a few bits. So I walked in there and I had, you know, like your everyday mum bag. Sometimes like I, with that bag, I tend to like forget to close the zip and stuff. Normally, I'd been lucky enough, not to my knowledge, to ever be pickpocketed, so I didn't even think anything of it. So I was just walking around and I put my phone, when I'm shopping, I normally just put my phone in my bag so like I'm not distracted or whatever. So I put my phone in my bag and I went to queue up and there was like a long queue and I remember there was quite a few people like moaning in the queue because there was only one cashier. And um, there were two Eastern European ladies behind me and um, race does not matter, but in this case, the reason why I will mention it is because I live in Newham and like they have got like a quite a big reputation of like pickpocketing in Newham. Not only Eastern Europeans, but like a lot of them do have a high reputation, high reputation of doing it in certain areas in Newham, like East Ham or Stratford. So um, they were behind me, didn't think anything of it, didn't even know my bag was open or semi open, etc. And I remember I just saw that they was like hurrying out of the shop and I kind of looked at them like, oh, you must not have really wanted what you like, what you had. Yeah, didn't think anything of it. Went to pay for my item, left the store. As soon as I left the store, I normally always just check my phone just to make sure I haven't got any missed calls or messages. And I'm, I couldn't find my phone. So I just thought, oh, that's a bit strange. Um, so I thought, oh, maybe I dropped it somewhere. So I've run back into the store. I've looked everywhere, have not found it. So I've started panicking at this point. I've gone to a security guard who is not helpful at all. And I've told him, look, I feel like the women behind me took my phone. He was just like, oh, well, what do you want me to do? So I was just like, check the cameras, obviously. So after like going back and forth with him, he'd finally decided to check the cameras. He took his sweet time. He was in the room for about at least 45 minutes. And I was just standing there waiting. Um, and obviously, remember, I haven't got long until I have to pick up my son. So I said to him, like, like, you know what, yeah, whatever, I'm going to leave. And because you clearly don't want to help me. So I've left now. And obviously, I'm so upset because obviously my, pic like my pictures, all just the memories and stuff. Like, And I remember I was only 23 months into the contracts. And I was thinking, like, what happened now, would it? wouldn't it? So um, I was walking through Stratford Shopping Centre because obviously I had to go and get my car to go pick up my son. Um, I went past the O2 store and I saw that the shutters was open a little bit. So I thought, oh, I wonder if there's someone in there. So I knocked onto the shutters and um, someone was actually in there. So I explained to them what happened and they was like, we're really sorry. Um, obviously, we can't let you in the store because of like the COVID and stuff. But we can actually try and get you another contract because I didn't have any insurance. So I was like, okay, how am I gonna do that? So he literally had to give me the handset in the store and I had to speak to him through the handset and he was while he was inside. Because obviously we couldn't have close contact because of COVID and stuff. And I literally did not even get to choose a phone. I had to literally get the same phone. I didn't get to choose like, I didn't get to like reevaluate what um, contract I was gonna go with or anything. Like had to literally just do everything so quickly. I had to go and pick up my son. And like anyone that has a phone or a smartphone knows that like we're so attached to our phones, like I felt lost without it already. So I remember I had to like literally just choose everything on the spot. I didn't get to like think about the colour, the contract, etc. Literally just had to like just get another phone. So I just got the same phone. Couldn't, I, don't, I don't even know if I even thought about the deal, the price, anything. I literally just got another phone. And then um, I literally just left. Um, 
and yeah I went to go pick up my kids and then I remember telling my mum and my brother what happened they were, and they were just like oh my gosh I can't believe that happened and obviously it happened so much like pickpocketing but I didn't ever think it would happen to me and um, I remember after like I did file a police report because I just thought how can you do that to someone like we're going through a global pandemic people are dying people are losing their homes people are losing their businesses people are just losing so much like and you think like it's okay to just come and steal something that's not take something that's not even yours um and obviously like my screensavers of like my kids when they were really young and like so you obviously saw that I have kids and you still fought to take it i guess some people like they just don't care but as women as well i'm not saying it'd be better if it was a man but as a woman you're doing that to another woman i just find that so disgusting so i did file a police report and um until now i still haven't heard anything back and like it's been what over a year so i don't know what's going on with that i go out every day and i see people with like their phones hanging out like with like their bags open and stuff and i think people just don't think that people are going to be that evil to just go like put their hands into their your bag and take your stuff but people are like that it's crazy and i really wanted to bring awareness to it because you have to protect your stuff honestly like people are ruthless they will literally just steal your things and they do not care i blocked my phone so i don't know what they were going to do with a blocked phone i don't know if they can sell it back home in their country or whatever but like it's just like for what why did you do that do you know what i mean it was just so unnecessary be careful be vigilant when you're out there because this happened over a year ago and i didn't even think it was imp important at the time i remember my friend said do a story time about it but i just thought like no nah, why should i do it but when i was actually thinking i, w I went back to pound i think today and it's like i think the second time i've been there since that happened and i'm so like not nervous but you know, like I'm so on guard when I'm in there because I just think to myself, like, if anything was to happen, one, security is not going to help me because they don't care. Um, and like, mate, I'm not going to go and get another new phone again. Like, you know what I mean? Because someone feels like they can just take what's mine. So it just made me feel really uncomfortable when I was in there. Um, obviously, that's not the only place things like this, this happen. Pickpocketing can happen anywhere. But at least if we're a lot more vigilant, like now, if anyone stands too close, I'm already looking at them sideways, like, move. <laughs> give me some space you know what i mean so it has obviously changed the way that i act now in public i'm not so like um naive like obviously i understand that people will just take things from you so um actually tell a lie i remember when i was when i jamel was a baby my oldest i, I was at the um i was at the cash point and um i remember like anyone that has a baby knows about you know the baby warmers what you put um bottles in and um it was in it was on the like the bottom of the pram and to like to met some people that don't know like maybe a man or something or someone young they might think that it's like a little mini handbag and i remember it had this warm bottle in it and um after taking my cash out by the time i left there was a man standing behind me um it had it had obviously gone he had stolen it <laughs> mate he must have been so shocked when he had seen a bottle in there but yeah so i have actually been pickpocketed before i guess if you call that pickpocketed but whatever like yeah so i don't know people are just sick in the head honestly like to take something that's not even yours is just weird i don't get like you obviously just don't care about karma because i do believe in karma yeah anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this story time and i do hope that like it helps someone to obviously be a lot more vigilant and stuff if you're not doing that already if you guys want me to like um say any other story times because i feel like i've got loads of things that have happened to me honestly i've had like a not a crazy life but a funny one so yeah let me know in the comments and i'm more than happy to do another one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys again next time bye